know, we're gonna need a brush. We're live. Hello. <laughs> we're gonna need a brush though. But I'm thinking we need a brush because to cut in the edge, like I did. Yeah, a, I want it cut in. I don't want it to be all messy. So, anybody on? Not yet. That's okay. We've got one. Hello. Two. So here we are. I'm Trish. Say your own name. We're in um, Western New York. I hope you can. There's nothing wrong with our side. Provence. There. Florence. Anyway, you know everybody keeps posting all these really fun things about using buffalo check um, styles, and we thought, wouldn't it be fun? Why don't we just do this in buffalo check for like going into the holidays? It would look good with the orange pumpkins. And then it would look great for our Christmas display, and um, we're really nothing's mixed in it. I literally swept the car, the sidewalk off, and I'm not worrying about power washing it. Um, but literally, I'm just going to roll this over, and I just picked up some moss, and that's okay. Um, tomorrow we are expecting uh, a downpour, and you know what? That's okay because the last time, last time we painted our sidewalk. Uh, within 24 hours, it was like Noah's Ark was going to float by. So we just figured, you know what, it was fine. And we'll just go with the same thing. It'll, it's not going to wash off. It's an exterior grade paint. Anyone have questions? Not yet. And you know, like I said, there's nothing wrong with what we've done, but we kind of want to change it up a little. So that's why... We're here doing this. I actually want to, Hannah, do an, extend this and make it a little longer. Yeah. We can do that after we finish this. Yeah. Um, I'm guessing, I only had about a quarter of a quart or a liter left. I'm guessing we'll go through two liters. Yeah. Sounds about right. To do this. And I'm just using a roller. You don't need to seal this. Just get it on. Steve's watching. Hi, Steve. Boy, it's so hard working here. <laughs> it's like so mundane and boring. But um, we're just painting the outside concrete sidewalk. Again, we're not going to need to seal it. And what's really amazing is we get our paint deliveries. Um, the truck literally pulls in next to our building. He has a lift gate and um, drops the skids and then uses a hand truck and literally drags it in through the double doors and it goes over this we've probably had at least 12 at least 12 deliveries where the hand trucks scrapes and the skids usually dragging right over this and you would never even know it i mean it has really taken a beating and it stays really well so don't be afraid um to do something fun especially if you live somewhere that's kind of artsy you know, paint your sidewalk. You might need permission from the town or your city. I don't know. Depends how strict they are. And how uptight. famous and how famous you are. What's that? And it depends on how famous you are. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> um, but we're going to. So let's talk about our game plan. So you were showing those sample boards earlier, Hannah. Yes. Why don't you talk about them and what we plan on doing? So we're going to be doing a buffalo check pattern and we're going to be using these colors. So right now Trish is painting the old white as the base color um, and then we're going to be using Chicago gray. We're going to be using graphite and then this here in the middle is Paris gray with a little bit of India ink mixed in. So the Paris gray and Chicago were very similar. We didn't think they were gonna have too much of a contrast. So the Paris gray mixed with a little bit of India ink makes it darker and creates a better contrast, we think. I How's need to go get another liter of paint because you gave me one that was almost empty. Yeah. So uh, keep people occupied, I'll be right back. So like Trish was saying, I'm gonna flip it around here. Like Trish was saying, it's gonna be raining tonight. As soon as this is dry, it is an exterior grade paint, so the rain is not really going to affect it. We've had the design that's on there now. Um, 
painted for probably at least six months now and it's held up totally fine. It is getting cold, so we're in upstate New York. The snow is about to start falling um, and that won't affect our painted concrete at all. The concrete's nice because it is porous and it will really soak up a lot of the chalk paint and it'll adhere nicely. And now Trish is back so I can stop talking. <laughs> So the only thing I can tell you from when we painted this in May that really actually affected it is we have these metal urns and they're just wrought iron. They're not treated or anything. So you can see the square rust stains on them. But you know what's pretty cool is this is just one coat of old white right over the stencil. Now I can see some of it showing through. Um, so you know probably two coats would be ideal. Yeah, I, I use the other side. If you haven't noticed, one of the things you want to do with these cans is just take your time getting that tool in there because you don't want to bend the um, lid, which I did not do. It just takes a little patience. And then I'm just going to pour it here. And I'm pouring that whole can and then we'll use a spatula and get it out just because I know I'm going to use it. I probably could have saved a little paint here and just thinned it with some water, but I didn't. Any questions? No. No, that's a whole liter of paint there. Yeah. That's a lot of paint. Yeah. And what's the temperature outside? It's cold. It's cold enough for my feet to be cold. Yeah. <laughs> Forty-five, fifty. No. It's freezing. It's because we're coming off of summer. I'm gonna guess it's like I don't know, probably fifty something. It's not. No. Yes, it's not. In Where the my feet are standing. <laughs> I'll check. What temperature do you think it is outside? What's the temperature? See, he says 60. Well, my feet feel about 45. Age or temperature? My f age is 76. <laughs> <laughs> Sean wants to know if someone wanted to put a protective varnish or top coat for exterior use like this, what would you recommend? You know, that's a great question. Um, I probably wouldn't. Um, I mean, you could use Andy Sloan's lacquer. Look at that, I gotta leave. Um, you could use any small <laughs> but on a concrete surface like this, for outside, I, I'm just gonna go with this. If the leaves are in there, it's okay. Um, I don't think it's necessary. I mean, you could spend the money on it, I guess, if you really wanted to, but for over a sidewalk, it's not a big deal. If this was in your basement, or let's say you had an, a, a porch, like a porch edition. You could use Annie's lacquer. It's made for high traffic areas. Um, she comes in the gloss and a mat, but I, for this year's, I definitely wouldn't do a top coat. There's no need to. So, and again, the original design here was from um, five months ago. And even though I have some leaves in my paint, I'm not gonna worry about it because I got the whole surface covered. They'll just blow off as it dries. It's no big deal. What else there, Hannah? Anything? Denise says that the weather says it's 60 degrees where we are. See, I told you so. I knew it wasn't as cold as you thought. Well, I don't have shoes on, though. If you're going to be driving by our store, wear your sunglasses. Because when the sun hits this, it's kind of Oh, my gosh, here. yeah. But you know what? When we're done, it'll look really good. kind of falling off so if you were rolling on the chalk paint if it were not on concrete would you use that same type of roller um you know we often say to use a foam roller so that way you have it creates less texture i'm using this roller because it's a little bit 
fluffier in this concrete if you have it can't tell there's lots of little divots and holes and cracks so this helps get into all of that but like if you if you wanted to roll the paint on your kitchen cabinets i would use a foam roller yeah a smooth foam roller and you might even want to thin the paint a little because you want it to lay as smooth i would think you'd want it to lay smooth you don't want to have that puckered look um but you know what's interesting that top corner is um almost i would say about 70 percent dry yeah This is a lot quicker than last time when we used the brush. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It'd be a lot quicker if I got a hair clip. I didn't keep pulling the hair out of my eyes. You on a ponytail? No, I, I'd look hysterical. What? If I had my hair on top and a ponytail, I'd look like a little baby. Yeah. It's That's called a I doodle. Mean. That's so funny. <laughs> um, so the only thing I may do is come back with the brush to cut in near the curb. Just because I don't want to get it with the paint. But So we're doing the old white today. I'm hoping we might actually be able to do some one set of stripes. And we decided that we would do, we want the, we want the, um, we want the darkest color, the graphite. We could have went with Athenian black, but we felt the graphite was gonna look the nicest because it's more of a warmer charcoal. That's the darkest of all the colors we're using. And we want the graphite to go horizontal. So when you're looking at the building from the road, you know, it's cutting us from left to right. Um, and so because of that, I think we're going to do those first or last? We're going to start with the lightest color. And we'll do those vertical. Yep. Okay. Chicago. When we go to do that, we'll just cut back on. Yeah. And we'll take pictures so that way people can see the progress. But this is, what do you think this is? Uh, five feet square, each one? Yeah, about the height of me. Keep in mind the chalk paint is, um, soaks into the concrete quite a bit. You probably could get away with less paint if you thin it with water. I didn't do that. What else? Any questions? Any thoughts? I mean, I think you're going to go through more paint on a, on a surface like this than you would absolutely on furniture. So if you're planning on doing something, you should err on the side of getting extra um, because I have a feeling you're going to use it. And with a roller too, it does soak into the roller. Yeah. The roller is good though because I have all these little divots. Yeah. And it, I can push on it and it squishes into the hole. And space. just for time, so much True. faster. But you are going to go through quite a bit of paint. Yeah. So, but what a fun thing to do if you have a patio, especially in the back of your house. And it's just boring. And if there's cracks in it and it's ugly, this is a nice way to camouflage it. And you could get a stencil like we did. You could change it out depending on the season. You could even do something with it your kid's birthday. You know? Yeah. Have some fun with it. Sean wants to know if we have any experience on how the paint will hold up to the salt in the winter and the melting yeah. ice and snow. So I can tell you that because I had, um, this was painted in graphite for about five years and i'm in western new york and we have um the salt trucks and we also have a little guy that comes through with a plow in the winter and he scrapes the sidewalk and that graphite was there for five years just fine so in my experience that's not an issue it's actually pretty impressive to be honest with you in fact if i hadn't wanted it to stay um, or if I did, what was the way how I want to put this? If you if wanted to. I was to. hoping it was going to be temporary, it absolutely is not. So actually, that's a good point. I've had sometimes people call me from different municipalities saying that they want to paint the street or they have some event festivity. Can they use chalk paint? No, because you're going to paint it and it's not like it's a temporary paint that's going to wash off in a year or something. It will stay there. So. This is not what you'd want to use if you wanted to do something temporarily. In fact, I don't even know what you would use, but don't use chalk paint. Okay, what else? I Nothing might go really. Paint. I might go yeah, paint. yeah. I think um, 
I think we'll update you guys, keep posting pictures along the way, and then like Trish said, once we start doing the pattern, we're, we'll jump back on live. Yeah, um, we do have our link for our newsletter, and we will actually be sharing um, some additional detail information regarding projects. Um, we want to do something where it's almost like a membership, but you're not paying for it. But you need to be part of the club. So at the top of our Facebook page is an announcement and it links to that so you can sign up. Um, starting next month, uh, we're gonna have a coupon code. So if you order from us, you can enter that in and get something extra. I think anything extra for free is a good thing. It's always nice. So. Okay, I'm gonna finish painting this. We'll take some pictures and then hopefully we'll have time to paint the Paris gray, you think? Chicago. Chicago gray stripes. Um, and then show you it all once it's done. So thanks for tuning in. Bye.